Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about magic cans. Welcome back to our series on the American Minuteman gear, and today I want to talk about cans, suppressors, silencers, whatever fancy technical or non-technical term you'd like to call it, and why you should have one. You should absolutely have a suppressor on your fighting rifle and there's a couple reasons for that in general i don't really shoot unsuppressed guns anymore because i have cans on all of my rifles that i work with i do that mostly just from a comfort perspective however remember this is american minuteman gear and we are talking here about you know your gear that you need if red dawn happens you can still shoot a rifle without a suppressor however there are massive benefits to it the first one, of course, is just general sound suppression. It's nice because it's quieter, right? It takes that sharp crack out of the round. It generally reduces uh, just the, the noise and it improves your overall comfort. The second reason is if you are fighting in teams and you absolutely should be, if you have all this gear, you also need some boys to run it with. And with your boys, when you are shooting in close proximity to one another and you have a can, it is a much much better shooting experience. You might think I'm exaggerating, but I can tell you right now, if you're ever in any kind of closed and structure or you're under an awning or whatever, and one of your boys is right next to you, like, you know, two, three, four feet away, and they're shooting, your teeth will rattle. I know you might just think I'm a wimp and, and maybe I am, we can have that discussion, but it makes a big difference. And if you're in there with your whole fire team and you guys are all pew, pew, pewing away, a suppressor makes a huge difference in your ability to concentrate, stay focused, and become less fatigued. All of that ambient noise is going to wear on you. And you can say, listen, Dylan, I'll be, I'll be on adrenaline. I'll be excited. <laughs> You're not going to be on adrenaline every firefight of your life, I can guarantee you. So I'm a big fan of having suppressors because they are a massive team tactical advantage. Even, even if we're just talking about that team maneuvering, working with your team aspect, that in and of itself is worth it. They also reduce your sound and flash signature, which again are massive things to figure out where you're being shot from. If you ask any combat veterans, figuring out where you're getting shot from is a big problem anyway, even without suppressors. When you start putting suppressors on guns, it gets very, very difficult to identify where those bullets are coming from. So having suppressors gives your team a huge tactical advantage in that arena. Lastly, I just want to address the idea that, hey, you know, for those of you who have suppressors, you know how it goes, and, and I would assume you're a fan of them by now. For those of you who don't, and you're frustrated by this burden of regulation at tax stamps and that waiting and the whole nine yards of nonsense, let me just assure you that yes, it's garbage. Yes, it's unconstitutional. Yes, it's illegal. Yes, it's stupid. Like I agree, all gun laws are infringements. We can all agree on that. However, you should subject yourself to it. You should suffer it because it's better for your team when you have a can. If you're like, Dylan, I don't have a team. What does it matter? Well, hopefully someday soon you will. And in that case, if they're a good team, they're gonna ask you to put a can on the damn gun. So. Do yourself a favor, if you don't have a suppressor already, go through the regulatory garbage process, get yourself a suppressor, because the advantages far outweigh the inconveniences and disadvantages of the regulatory process. I hope that's helpful. Run quiet out there, boys. Do brave deeds and endure.